This is what you see every day: buses, trains, and taxis. Does it ever occur to you what is the main mode of transport in your grandparents' and parents' era? You might not know that rickshaws were introduced in Singapore in the 1880s as the main mode of transport, an improved version, trishaws in 1940. It was gradually phased out in 1962 due to the introduction of motor buses. You might or might not see it, but it is part and parcel of our grandparents' and parents' lives. This part of history is slowly fading away as technology improves day by day and it is forgotten by many. Your parents and grandparents may have fond memories of them but they seldom talk about them because they are no longer part of their lives now. Do you know you can only see this in the Bugis area? In this clip, we are going on a trail to find out more about this popular transport of the past. Yes, my father used to be a trishaw rider and he gave me leaves. I used to be very excited to be on a trishaw, as back in the olden days, only the rich people could afford it. Trishaw was the main mode of transport in the past. Cars were rarely seen on the streets. Of course, I didn't have to pay when I took leaves from my father. In the olden days, if one were to take a trishaw from Serangoon to Taising, it would cost about 70 cents. Depending on the distance, the rider would charge a fee ranging from 50 cents to a dollar. My father worked as a trishaw rider until he was about 60 years old. The last time I took a trishaw was when I was about 15 years old. No, it's too dangerous to sit on a trishaw now. There are so many cars on the roads. It is not safe anymore. I would rather take a taxi. I have been in this trade for 12 years. It was before trishaw uncle came about 8 months ago. In the past, the trishaws belonged to us. We can decorate it with flowers and some other accessories. We can only fetch one customer and not two because it is not motor operated. The new trishaws are all motor operated now. I think that it is difficult for us to make a living because they are peak and non-peak period. Sometimes we don't get to work at all. Of course I will. If the government doesn't stop the trade, I will continue for a few more years. However, if the government decides to stop the trade, then I will have to find other jobs. I think it is sufficient if we don't spend it frivolously. Personally, I feel that people want to remain in this trade because they are used to the life as a trishaw rider. It is not up to us to decide. Every three years, the tourism board will put up a tender to look for interested companies to take over the trishaw business. Besides that, the tourism board will also look at the profit margin of this trade. 